Bird vs. Dodge. Ain't that just a classic? Welcome back to the CL Off-Road channel. We picked up another fresh one here. Anyone who's been to my channel before knows these are both Baja Rays, but they're both totally different. Just got this one in. I uh, realized at a bash meet that I only had nitro bashing cars. I didn't have any electric cars that I could actually run um, that weren't, you know, dedicated race rigs. And I remember really enjoying the Baja Ray for bashing. So I decided to get another one. Why not? I mean, this one, I'm not going to touch, really. Um, I'm going to try to keep it mostly stock. I'm going to do a few things just to, you know, get its reliability up, like the SSD diff carriers and the third member for the axle. Uh, this one actually has it. Let me pop it up. So, that guy, that needs changed on these, and as well as the aluminum diff carrier. They come with oversized bearings on the inputs and they help minimize you know flexing that way the diffs don't flex and lose their gear mesh. Something that this truck liked to do before I did that and I was only running that one on 2S. This is gonna be a 3S truck. Um, Kind of see if I can get this in frame right. <laughs> ah. Just how different they really are. Like, oh, it's nice to have a side by side comparison as to what the Baja Ray started as versus how short we actually are now. Um, uh, maybe this view will get better. Both tires are lined up on the tailgate exactly the same. You can see just how far uh, the Ford is to driving off of the edge versus the Mopar. And it's actually kind of cool. Now I've got, you know, I want to keep this kind of scale as far as, you know, trophy trucks, something you actually see out in the desert, like in the Baja 1000. That's my aim for this truck. Whereas this guy is a race, dedicated race vehicle for uh, RC racing. So, I mean, it's more in line with what you'd see in uh, something like the Torque series or the old Lucas Oil uh, Motorsport series, um, where they basically took trophy trucks and modified them to be on a giant dirt bike track, essentially. So now I got one for each. But I did promise in one of my last videos that this wouldn't be just, you know, a walk around video. We'll try to get some running video as well so I'm not gonna run the racer today the pro 4 Baja truck that's just gonna stay put you've seen that run before it's time to see what this guy can do
Guys, what a fun truck. I really miss being able to bash with one of these. So yeah, we're pretty much just going to go to trophy truck route with this. No track racing stuff here. I mean, I might throw it on a track for giggles anyways, but it's not going to be a dedicated racer. Really loving the light bars, giving it that added look. I think we might do something with this rear cage area. It looks a little open. Gotta make it more trophy truck. Can't let the tracks this guys with their UDRs, you know, tell me that their truck looks more scale. <laughs> uh, tires are definitely coming off. Uh, I forgot just how squirmy they really are. Like, just, this is a functional tire, but I mean, there's just nothing to them. Just squirmy, soft and squirmy. I had a hard time lining it up on, for the ramp out there for you guys. It was just wanting to dance everywhere. Uh, might throw a locker back in it. Who knows? <sighs> but. So yeah, that's on the, you'll see this truck again on the channel, for sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's about all I'm going to do. Just the diff carriers, like what the Pro 4 mod has, and then something with the rear cage area, make it more trophy truck-ish. Better tires. And we'll just go from there. Um... I will be putting thicker diff fluid in the center, in the front diff, because, oh my god, was it wanting to diff out under 3S power. Uh, so would I recommend this truck? Of course, I've got two of them. <laughs> They're a really fun truck, uh, especially just for playing around in a lot, like a dirt lot somewhere, a gravel yard. This thing's perfect for that. Uh, just don't expect it to be... Uh, you know, getting big air like a Traxxas, Stampede, Haas, Max, any of those, you know, monster trucks. This thing's not gonna, this thing's not built for that. Um, but if you're into scale trucks with a little bit of speed, oh yeah, this is a fun truck for sure. Um, as it is right here, this is box stock. I didn't put anything on it except for aluminum upper links right here from Incision. But that's literally it. That's the only thing I did to it in this trim. Uh, oh, aside from radio, I can't stand this the cheapo Spectrum DX2E radio that it comes with. So I just set it up with my uh, Futaba 7PXR. Just because that's what I'm comfortable with right now. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot else to say. I'm not exactly a reviewer. I just know what I like. And it's good. <laughs>